Hi everyone, so good to be here with you again. Um, it's a bit warm today and my cap is off. <laughs> I can be a little bit, but I still got the jacket. But, um, remember what we talked about the last time? What we were talking about the frame, the world, your words, and the world you live in. You know, I. I had a few comments and a few people, you know, asked me to, you know, expand more on that word because a uh, few people really, 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 a lot of people anyway, when I say few people, I don't mean there are few, I just humble myself to say few people, but a lot of people throw in their comments and, um, and they, they love the word and they wanted more light on it. They wanted me to go into more details. So here are the details and let me make it very simple, as simple as it can be. So just imagine that I'm next with you in the house. We are just sitting down together, so relaxed and so free. And um, we are just communicating. We're just talking about this. You know, we're just brainstorming, you know. So um, this is how it is. Everybody is unique. There is no replication. There is no duplicate. There is no to you. You are unique. There is just you and your unique character. There is only one unique you. And you need to understand that. Now, before I go into what I want to say, I just wanted to say to somebody here because I, I just feel I should talk to someone. You know, we are just sitting, I'm just sitting next to you and I can feel what you feel. Um, don't be in competition with anybody. Be in competition with yourself. Why? Because nobody is living in your space. Your space is your space. Their space is their space. So you don't, I don't want you to ever assume that anybody is taking your place. Nobody is taking your place. Your place is your place because nobody is living in your space. Your space belongs to you. So if you must be in competition, be in competition with yourself. So I haven't said that. I just want to say to you that, um, in going into index, everybody has, has the, their own space. So when God created everybody, when you came into this world through birth of a mother, you came into your own space and you begin to live and you exist in your space. Your brother or your sister, your father or your mother are also living in their space. And nobody is interrupting anybody's space, no. Now, that space is framed, cultivated, and manifest the words you speak. So I, I want us to understand this very well. That frame, that space you live in, cultivates, creates, manifests what you speak. So just imagine a person living in a square room and is in the center. Now, from the beginning, it's just there. Then it begins to speak. His, his space begins to come together till it becomes a unified space framed by its own words. So when you say it's not working, you begin to meet difficulties, difficulties, difficulties. It's working, you begin to meet opportunities. Things are getting better for me. It's getting better. You are thinking better. Remember we talked about in one of our posts, you, you can check in the previous post, we talk about mental wealth. You begin to think about things getting better. You begin to think about things working better and you begin to speak it. 
So when you're speaking with your friend and your friend is saying, oh man, things are hard, difficult, things are not working, they say, oh, yeah, 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 it's true, but they are working for me. For me, it is different. Yeah, I know things are difficult, but it's becoming easier for me. You know, yeah, 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 I can relate with that. Yeah, things are not, oh, things are really, really bad. But I see a lot of goodness for me. So you're not becoming an enemy of the person. You're not trying to say hi. You don't know what you're saying. But you're personalizing your own life. Why? Because you are responsible for creating the space you live in. So I want you to understand that you are responsible for creating the space you live in. So your words and your thoughts craft the space you live in. So they bring the experiences. So the experiences you go through every day of your life are crafted by your words. They are crafted by your words. So when you speak, the universe uses those words to bring to reality what you speak. So either way, you wherever you go, you run to whatever you believe and whatever you think, you're free, your opinion is yours. Everybody have the right to their opinion, but you must understand this, that you are living in the space you created. And if you don't want it to be that way, if you want a change and you want a better tomorrow, change your mind, change your thoughts and create a better space for you. And you begin to experience it differently. You begin to experience a better life. Because your word crafts the experiences you have. So I just want to say to somebody, I hope this makes sense to you. Thank you for those of you that are subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you that are already commenting. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Um, thank you for those of you that are giving me thumbs up. Oh, that is awesome. Please throw a lot more, a lot more. You can, you can fill up my page with your comment. It's, it's absolutely allowed. And it will help the channel to grow also. The space, the experiences, your words, they are vital. So when you speak, it creates, it creates, it manufactures, it creates the experiences you want to experience. Yeah. So those of you that are in school, remember, if you see yourself as a failure, even before you start writing the exams or before you finish studying, then definitely you're going to be a failure. If you keep saying, this exam is difficult, I don't think I'm going to make it. Of course, you're not going to make it. But if you say, this is very difficult, but my brain must understand. It's so tough, but mind you must understand. Mind you must understand. Relax, PM. Relax and relax and understand. Relax, read it again. Relax, read it again. You begin to understand. When you get to write the exam, you come out excellent. When you're looking for a job or you are in an office and it's not working right, just change it. Change it with the words, your words and your mindset. You see someone that comes around. You see some people are so wonderful. Like they just see somebody look at them and because the person doesn't smile, they'll just say, that is my enemy. Yeah, I can see. This is my enemy. You are my enemy. No. Why don't you just think that Life is treating me a bit difficult, then we give him a space. So I, I just want to tell you that this is how you can live and create the right environment. Keep your mind pure. Keep your mind neutral. I will, I will give you more light on that. I will give you more light on that. Keep your mind more neutral. Keep your mind pure. 
and keep your mind open. Then your voice, your speech, your words, whatever you say, we create the right space for you. Hope to see you again. Enjoy your day. Whatever you're doing, enjoy your time. And have a wonderful moment. Have a blissful moment. I will see you again. I remain PM Rock. Always in your face. Have a great day. And bye.